back. How are we all? Today we're going to take a look at... See, I don't even know how to pronounce this properly, so... I have many names for it, but my preferred name is Garze, but I believe it's Gaze. But Garze, kick gun. My Garze kick gun, which is also called Demise. Which, I don't even know if that's how you spell it. I will be honest. Demis? Is it two I's? Is it two S's? Two M's. Two E's. Hmm. I don't know. Fuck knows. Anyways. The Garze. It's a kit gun. Um. I don't have, like, perfect statistic parts on mine. Um. I didn't actually make mine. I bought it. Uh. Because I'm not ranked three with him yet. So. I didn't buy it. But this is 100%. In my opinion. The best. Beam. Secondary. Statistically, I think. Um, it just seems to be so much better than, like, the the Atmos or the... What's the other one? It's the Faction one. Gamma Core? This just seems to be better. And it's a lot funner, because I get to make it. And I think it looks cool as well, although I do like the look of the Atmos. Um, it does look very cool. Uh, and it's relatively cheap when you consider how much former goes into those other beam weapons. I believe it's four former for this build, whereas like my Atmos is six. The Gamma Core one is not going to be out before this, but just future reference is uh, five. I want to say. Um, and I am using Pax Seeker, the. Uh, Weapon Augment. I know a lot of people use uh, it's a pack charge, is that what it's called? Which basically gives you infinite ammo, but ammo isn't ever a problem in this game. And on the weaker enemies in the game, pack seeker, those like seeking balls or whatever you call them, I don't know. They do so much damage to lower level, lower armored enemies that they're just so good. And like I said, pistol ammo, or just ammo in general, is not hard to come by in this game, so. I don't see the point running it personally. Like I said, on these. Like, that does. Like, seven. It's just added damage, isn't it? 3k, that did 10k. It's just. It's whatever you prefer. The the uh, the augments aren't really. that much of a game changer. Like I said, they're just great for the lower level enemies, but for. when you get past a certain number, you're gonna struggle anyway, so. Yeah, there is that. But yeah, all otherwise, it's very, very good. As you can see, no issues at all. Not a problem. Um, I am using corrosive on this. Uh, I have used viral. I have tested viral. I have compared the two. And in all my testing and experience and preference and whatever other words can go with that, uh, corrosive is just better. Just fly out there, so that's that. I think a lot of uh, primaries are definitely viral. Uh, yeah, a lot of primaries are viral dependent, whereas a lot of uh, the secondaries are corrosive dependent. So that's that. It's weird how there's that sort of difference between the two. How different like a weapon can perform with corrosive over viral and vice versa. You know what I mean? It's crazy with a weapon like this viral is uh, not as good another thing this weapon has is built in radiation I believe every kit gun has radiation built into it I believe all of mine do anyway for some reason which is kind of annoying but from what I've uh, seen used experienced in my opinion it's added it doesn't really change the weapon but it is very very annoying um, because all I have to do is hit him a little bit, right? He's got radiation now, so he's going to target his friends as well as me. Which means, like, teammates will turn on each other. And if you're doing, like, a survival, and that beam chains outside of, like, the door you're sitting at, those enemies will just wander off shooting their friends. Which is great, but you don't get to see it happen, so you don't even know it's happening. So that's a, a good or a bad thing. I mean, I suppose I'm a bit of a psycho. I like to know what's going on. To be honest, it's quite fun watching a heavy gunner slam his fucking butcher friend across the map. So, yeah. 
I guess maybe that's just because I'm a psycho. Yeah, like most beam weapons, Wisp does pretty well with it. Um, when you can aim, it does help. And yeah, this weapon is very, very fun. Now, you do have to go and play Fortuna to get it. So, a lot of you that don't like the open world stuff, like me, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it's obviously going to be a problem. But if you can struggle through it, you know, you're going to get. The kit guns are very, very powerful, so they're very much worth getting anyway. Like I said, just grind your way up. You don't even have to get to max rank. Like, I'm not max rank right now. I'm going to get max rank after I've done what I've got to do in the Plains of Eidolon just because of... Um, I want to be able to use art guns on the mission, on the ground. But... It's not necessary. Get to rank 3 so you can build the parts and then... Go from there. I don't even know if it's rank 3 you've got to be or if it's rank, it's rank 2. I don't remember. Yeah, you saw that. That was pretty much... Look at it and it melts with Mirage. <laughs> I don't even have to aim. That was so cool. <laughs> Missed half of them. So yeah, it's very, 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 very powerful. Those arcanes up top again are buffing my secondaries. They are primary, or um, I was going to call them augments. Arcanes. That's what they're called. So let me tell you what parts I'm using before we go over the build, which is there. Cheating. So those are the parts. Demise, as you can see, it was assembled by Rude Zud. Rude Zud. Rude. Zoo? I don't fucking know. So the grip is Haymaker. Chamber is Gaze. I hope that's triggering people. I really do, because that would be amazing. Is it Gaze? No. Gaze. Fucking Gaze sounds so much better. And then the loader is Bellows. Um, again, part wise, is it the best? I don't know, but I mean, the, the footage speaks for itself. So. Take it for what you will. Don't really care. I know what it does. Like I said, I'm using Pax Seeker because that's the only one I've got. Pax Bolt on headshot kill, 100% chance, 30% ability efficiency and ability strength. Oh, that one sounds pretty decent, you know. I might have to go and get myself one of them. Pax Charge. Pax Saw. 50% actually while airborne. Yeah, that one's shit. Battery recharge delay is reduced by 50%. What? Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's the one that gives you the max ammo. Or something like that. So, the build. Four former. Which is not bad considering what most things are nowadays. Numbers wise. And for the performance, that's pretty fucking good. I'll take it. So yeah, four four. Again, demise. Is that how you spell it? I hope so. That's gonna look really stupid if I don't. Hornet Strike and Magnum Force for damage. Accuracy on a beam weapon, doesn't matter. Anyone tells you otherwise, probably talking shit, because, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Pistol Gambit and Target Cracker, both primed for crit chance, crit damage. I would recommend getting these if you don't have them already, like I've said in a lot of my other sidearm videos. Primed crit mods for secondaries are just so much more powerful than the normal versions. The normal versions suck ass, so yeah, get them. Barrel diffusion f for multi shot, lethal tyrant for fire rate multi shot, and then jolt and pistol pestilence for corrosive. Like I said, it's got built in radiation already. Um, you can use amalgam barrel diffusion if you want. I mean, nine times out of ten, I probably would run that. I don't know why that's not there, but I can do. I lose 0.1 multi shot, which is nothing and that dodge speed is quite noticeable I know a lot of people have have said that's quite noticeable so use whatever if you're not comfortable using barrel diffusion or you don't have it use the normal version it's completely up to you that's fine uh, and yeah that is that I don't have a a, a gaze a gaze riven 
Um, I think it's the only kit gun I don't have a ribbon for because I've got a rattle gun, so I've got a catch moon, I've got a tomb finger. I don't think I've got one for this, which is a bit disappointing actually thinking about it now. Might have to have a look. Not that I've got anywhere to put it anyway. So, we have got 15.4 accuracy. And the reason this is so much better than the Atmos is because that has not got the highest crit chance. Wasn't it like under 50% or just over? And like a 3 point something times crit multi. Whereas this is a 10 times better crit chance and it's got a 4.2 crit multi. I think the Atmos is 3.6. Or something along those lines, which is uh, yeah, not not the best. It's not the best. Seventy-one point eight percent crit chance with a four point two times crit multi. Nineteen point two zero fire rate. Magazine of fifty-one. Multi shot of two point seven. Noise of alarming. One meter punch through. That's built in. Um, that's innate. I believe is what us what you Warframe people call it. Innate, built in. Don't know, don't really know what the difference is to be honest. I don't even really know what innate means, so I'm a fucking idiot. 2.1 second reload, 55% status chance, and the trigger off held because it is a beam. Radiation, uh, not radiation, it's got puncture damage 38.8 .8 puncture, 58.2 radiation, and 116.4 corrosive. So I think this beats, yeah, the Atmos just because it's got higher crit numbers. It's got high crit chance, high crit this, that, and the other. Um, and I said it's very, very good for single target damage, but this does a lot of damage to everything. It's not like it's uh, it's not like it struggles to um, spread the damage around. Whereas the Atmos, it was very noticeable that it was definitely doing more AOE damage. The Garza does more single target damage, but it doesn't just do single target. It does spread around quite a lot. So, and with the punch through as well, even though the beams are I'm not sure how punch through works on beams. I've not looked it up. I have seen something about it a long time ago and I remembered, but I forgot now. But whether punch through works or not, I don't know. But I have noticed sometimes I do end up killing the one behind the guy I'm aiming at. And that has happened in missions as well. I know that. So, that is that. There you guys go. If you want to go out and use those parts for yourself, I go for it. That's my personal Garza build. I might go for one. I might, you know, Google and YouTube the most st statistically powerful weapon parts and go for it properly. But we'll see. We will see. So there you guys go. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Please leave a like if you did. Dislike if you did. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. Maybe the, the Garza is your favourite. Um, kit gun. Maybe Tomb Finger is. Rattle Guts. It's probably 50 50 with me. Garza and Rattle Guts are my top two. But it's 50-50. I don't like one more than the other. But let me know. That's great. Uh, like Rivens for this, like I said, I don't have one. Um, but I would struggle to find where to put one. If I could get one with more crit damage, maybe I could replace it with Target Hugger. I don't know. I don't know. If you've got one, let me know. Any tips, tricks, questions, suggestions, recommendations, anything like that, let me know in the comment section. That's why it's there. I do answer most of the comments. Uh, links to all my socials are in there as well. If you would like to join or follow or do anything like that, subscribe if you're new around here. We are trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year. We are getting there. We are so close. It's crazy. It's so good. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, until next time, it's been Acid. I'll see you cunts later.